Hey there, in this video, we will demonstrate to you how to create an Android app with Natively and set up a OneSignal account for push notifications. Click the New App button and select the Android operating system. Enter your mobile app name. Add a website URL that you want to be displayed inside your application. Select app icon image, it should be 1024 pixels on 1024 and without an alpha channel. Click on a preview button to see how your app icon and name will look like on an actual Android device. In the next step, you can customize your color style by setting up the application background, loader, and launch screen colors. To get more information about all these colors, click an info button right of a color's title. Then you need to enter your bundle identifier, it is the name of your app in a specific format for Google Play. Or you can click on, create a new bundle ID, to generate it randomly. After that click continue button. On the next step, you need to turn on a push notification feature. In a related field, you need to enter OneSignal app ID. To get the app ID, go to onesignal.com website and start creating a new app. Enter the name and select Google Android platform, then click next. You need to provide Firebase server key and sender ID. To create them, click the link on the bottom with the text, copy from your Firebase console. In the Firebase console, click Add Project button. Enter the name and click Continue. Disable analytics if needed. After your project was successfully created, open Project Settings. Select the Cloud Messages tab. In the Cloud Messaging API section, open Manage API in Google Cloud Console. This link will redirect to your Google Cloud project. Activate the Cloud Messaging service by clicking an Enabled button. Then navigate back to Firebase. Refresh the page, and now you will see Service Key and Sender ID. Copy those two values and go back to one signal. Paste them into relevant fields. Click Save and Continue. Select Android as SDK and move Next. Copy App ID, press Done button, and switch back to Natively. Under the Push Notification feature, enter your App ID and click Create button. And that's pretty it. Thanks for your time, and we hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions let us know in support chat. See you next time.